for this recipe we are using 3 pounds of yuca. Using a big knife, such as a chef knife, go ahead and cut them into smaller pieces. Now to peel the yuca, we are using a paring knife. With the paring knife, slice into the skin of the yuca and get underneath the skin. Once the paring knife is underneath the skin, bring the knife all around the yuca and the skin will come right off. Using the chef knife, go ahead and slice it in half. And if you're not familiar with yuca, yuca has a vein inside. Using the knife, go ahead and remove the vein. Follow the same process with the rest of the yuca pieces. Now, there are two ways to do the next step. You could either grate the yuca or use a food processor. In the food processor, we are using a plastic blade at the bottom and a small shredding disc. Then you may shred your yuca just like so. We are using a food processor. However, there is no right or wrong way on how to do this. Either way, it's fine. Once your yuca has been grated either by hand or food processor, transfer into a large mixing bowl. We are stuffing the yuca fritas with frying cheese, aka queso de freír. We are using 5 ounces of frying cheese. Go ahead and cut this in half since this is a 10 ounce block of cheese. Cut the cheese into slices, then cut those slices in half. Season with 1.5 teaspoon of salt or to taste, 1 teaspoon of granulated sugar, 1.5 teaspoon of anise seeds, and 2 large eggs. Then mix until well incorporated. And I just realized that the cheese pieces are too big, so cut them in half one more time. Using a tablespoon and your hands, go ahead and start shaping them just like so. Create a dent to make room for the cheese. Add some more of the yuca mixture and begin to close it. Squeeze them between both hands as you shape them and keep them tight. Repeat the same process with the rest of the ingredients. With this recipe, you'll get about 10 yuca fritters, also known as chulitos. Now, in a skillet over medium-high heat, add canola oil. Once the oil is hot, fry them for about 5 to 6 minutes or until golden brown. Once they are beautiful and golden brown, transfer them onto a plate lined with paper towels. Oh, and one more thing, fry them in batches as to not overcrowd the pan. I think now you are ready to eat. There you guys have it, my take on cassava fritters, aka chulitos, aka yuca fritters, however you want to call them. Enjoy, buen provecho, and thanks for watching. Bye.